So as a thought leader, can I be anybody and be a thought leader or do I need to be an author? Do I need to be, you know, like can Heather Holloway do it with a social media marketing agency? How can we be thought leaders? Well, it kind of, you know, if if you look at the history as I am obviously prone mm-hmm. to do, you look at like a Napoleon Hill, a, a Dale Carnegie, people of that nature from say a hundred years ago or almost a hundred years ago. Um, and, and they all were trying to do their thing and were not doing great and then they wrote the book like think and grow rich right which i just read yeah yeah okay and then you spend the next 20 years promoting that book or that thing and that's kind of what you become known for and that's what your audience coalesces around well things have changed so that's still a way to do it but you can do it with a blog. You look at someone like James Clear, who wrote uh, Atomic Habits. This mm. is a guy that was blogging and, and being successful with that. And he had his themes. He had the things that he talked about and his ideas. And then finally, out of all of that writing, he was able to synthesize it and put it together in an organized way. And here comes the book, which has sold, gee, I, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands or maybe millions of copies. Yeah. So you and you can do it either yep. way. And and that's that's relatively new. Yeah. Right. Either way. So so but it sounds to me like the point is you gotta document your thoughts. Yeah. So if you're going to do the book first, uh you still need some sort of episodic communication. You need something where you're building that relationship with your audience. You know, and that's why I'm kind of more in favor of the second way, the blog first, the podcast first, Mm -hmm. the, the, you know, the content first before the book. Yeah. That's content we're consuming right now. Right. Right. Because then you build that audience so that when you say, Hey, my book's ready, like Mm -hmm. they run out and buy it because they've been waiting for it. They've been dying for it. Yeah. So that to me seems like the best way to go about it. Uh, Because if you just drop your book into kind of the nothingness, it becomes this you know, tree, you know, falling in the forest with no one to hear it. Right. Yeah, that's right. Book sells, um, you you know, if you include self-published books and most of them are these days, the average book sells somewhere around 300 copies, not encouraging news. Right. (laughs) Yeah. Right. Exactly. Like where, where do I get the number one New York best times, New York best time seller or whatever it's called. Right. Right. (laughs) Well, and, and then, and then the news gets worse from there about books and books are great. Like write a book. It's, it's wonderful, but realize what you're dealing with, realize the environment you're entering into because out of those say 300 people that buy your book, not everybody's even going to read it. Some of them Mm. are just going to put it on the bookshelf and, and, (laughs) uh, and it's going to sit there and collect dust out of people that start reading it uh, less than 10 percent in nonfiction uh, books commonly have completion rates of less than 10 percent. Oh, my gosh. So when you when you start chunking those numbers down, um, you might as well have stood on the street corner and, <laughs> and just like yelled out at cars passing by. Yeah, well, that's one way to do it. But you know what I love? hearing this is that, you know, if you're sitting there thinking like, that's the only way or some other expert out there told me that I had to write a book, leave yourself off the hook, leave yourself off the hook. You know, you can, you can get out there and, and, and do your thought leadership. Like you said, you can choose your own adventure. How do you most like to communicate? So for me, I was doing a lot of video production, scripted video production, like reading off of a teleprompter and trying to do that weekly. I got to tell you, Matt, that's a heavy lift. And so I thought to myself, okay, I need to get my message out there. How do I like to do it? And I like to have conversations. So ta-da, here's practical talk. So I guess it's like, what do you most align with? Do you want to do pre-produced like videos that you do? Do you want to write a blog? Do you want to just have a podcast? Do you want to have a vlog, right? Any one of those actions will get you closer to that thought leadership. Absolutely. You know, and, and the other thing about it is as you get better at it, you want to take that unit of creative output, we'll call it, right? And redistribute that 
you know, so that articles become podcast episodes, mm. so that podcast episodes become articles, so that articles become books, so that books become fuller fledged information products. Those become seminars. That seminar gets repackaged as what? Another product for, you know, pre recorded, you know, type yeah, of thing. Yeah. So uh, that is part of it, but don't feel the pressure of having to do it all today. <laughs> right. As I do, I'm like, it's got to be all done. But, you know, baby steps, uh, you know, taking that one bite at a time. Thanks for watching Practical Talk on YouTube. Listen to full episodes on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And while you're there, be sure to hit that subscribe button.